What's up and welcome back to the channel. Today is the Sunday, May 21st, 2023 Helium Miner update coming to you from our sunny and pretty warm Portland World Headquarters. Uh, actually, I have had a little bit of a cooling trend. We've been in the upper 80s, low 90s during the peaks during the day and we are actually like back to normal um, mid-May uh, weather, uh, spring uh, no rain, but uh, certainly uh, back in the uh, in the seventies, which is pretty daggone pleasant. So, anyhow, if you've been following along on the channel, you'll know that we have four MNTD helium miners: one in Kailua Kona, two here in Portland, Oregon, and one in Alpine, Wyoming, small town of about twelve hundred people. So, anyhow, let's get to today's update. Uh, IOT, the token that we're trading in now, post merger, uh, trading at point uh, zero 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 three four nine. Uh, dollars so that is actually um, about down 33% and like I mentioned in the last couple of videos I do expect that this is going to be all over the place until it kind of settles down um, helium uh, is trading at a buck 45 which is actually up 7% and then uh, finally Bitcoin at the time of the recording of this video trading at about 26,800 which is actually down about 1% per the week and Solana is trading at $19.63, which is also down um, about 7%. So um, anyhow, um, looks like uh, Helium actually in a positive trend there uh, in regards to um, value uh, versus Bitcoin and Solana, uh, but the IoT uh, moving in the opposite direction. So uh, anyhow, as far as our miners on a 30-day uh, basis, um, we're actually uh, up and down. Uh, Kona is up about 15%. Um, uh, Portland One, that one is in a hexagon with five other miners. That one's down 12%. Um, Portland Two, which is in a hexagon by itself, is up 12% on a 30-day basis. And then finally, uh, Alpine, which is in a hexagon by itself, and we've got four other miners there in town. Uh, that one is actually down 5% on a 30-day basis. On a 7-day basis, um, on the other hand, Kona is uh, is up 13%. Um, Portland 1 is up 4%. Um, Portland 2 is up 15%. And then Alpine is actually down 32% on a 30-day basis. But I think part of that, too, was because it was down um, uh, due to uh, uh, the antenna, um, our Starlink being off the roof. Um, but I think, yeah, we're, we're back up to normal there. Um, as far as totals, our 30-day uh, totals uh, on a Kona miner are 20,000 IOT. Uh, Portland 1 is 3,900 IOT. Portland 2 is 6,400 IOT. And then finally, Alpine is at 3,700 IOT. And sounds like we have an airplane here overhead. Um, Usually we're out of the flight path, but uh, every once in a while here, it does happen. So anyhow, on a seven-day basis, uh, earnings IoT Kona is at uh, 5,100. Uh, Portland One is at 939, and then Portland Two is at 1,700 IoT, and finally Alpine is coming in at 580 IoT. So um, relatively stable, not seeing anything uh, kind of out of the ordinary there um, on a seven-day basis, um, you know, post-merger. Uh, so uh, certainly, um, you know, if you've got some uh, some of your own comments or so, uh, you know, leave those down below. I did, did want to bring, bring up Helium Proposal 83, uh, HIP 83. Um, this is now available for review. Haven't had a chance to look at it closely, but it appears to me that it rewards miners uh, in a uh, better, uh, more organized fashion for providing fast, reliable service to uh, sensors that are using the Helium uh, network. So uh, in general, uh, broad brush, 30,000 point, 30, foot uh, point of view does seem like it's a good idea, but uh, I do want to take a look at it a little further uh, before, uh, um, so uh, reserving judgment for that. Uh, anyhow, um, did have a couple of comments um, from last week regarding antenna placement. Um, certainly, we've got all our miners inside, 
And this was a comment in just regards of getting it up on the roof and uh, had uh, actually been thinking about that. We do have a couple of NEMA enclosures, basically waterproof electrical boxes um, that you can use for various electrical devices. And we'll see if we can uh, get uh, one of our miners in one of those and get that mounted up on the roof and uh, see, how, uh, see how that goes. Uh, anyhow, that should do it. So as always, please leave your comments down below with your helium mine experience or if you have any questions. And we will see you for the next video. Hopefully, again, everyone is having a great Sunday. Bye.